Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Try to settle in right here. Being with the breath is a place of refuge. You can create a sense of well-being inside, in a sense where you're not quite so hungry for things outside. And when you're not hungry, then you can look at things both inside and out with a lot more ob objectivity. And we take refuge here because the mind does need refuge. We take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and Sangha by bringing their qualities inside. The Buddha was a person of wisdom, compassion, purity. We try to be people of wisdom, compassion, and purity ourselves. We also keep the Buddha in mind, as well as the Dharma and the Sangha. That's the other meaning of the word sadhana. It means refuge, but it also means what you remember. You try to hold their principles in mind because they teach you good things about how to find true happiness, a happiness that can last. And the problem is it's so easy to forget, especially in a society like ours where all sorts of other messages are being blared at us all the time about how you can just go ahead and indulge in your likes and do what you want. Don't worry about the consequences. We look around us and some people seem to be getting ahead that way. And it's good to remind yourself, well, that, that's a recipe for trouble. It's a recipe for suffering. In fact, as the Buddha said, just simply doing what you want without thinking about the consequences is precisely why we suffer. And so it's good to remind us. So we're going to remind ourselves of this. And you feel a lot more secure this way. You know that when you are wise about your actions, and these are principles that have been tested for many, many years, there's a security that comes away. that way. You can't find any security in your own desires, because you probably notice your own desires in the past have led you wrong. So it's good to have some guidance in how to look at your desires and figure which ones are worth following and which ones are not. So as we take refuge in the Buddha, it's both through developing his qualities and through keeping him in mind. The same with the Dharma, the same with the Sangha. As long as we live in this world, we have to keep these things in mind. So we can live in the world and get some advantage out of our time here in the world. In other words, we can develop our perfections, we can develop our goodness, because it's based on principles that have been tested for a long, long time. This is why we find our security in taking refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and we find security in keeping them in mind. As the Buddha said, the teacher's duty is to give the student a sense of how to decide what's skillful and what's not skillful. So he sets things out and he says, this is the way things are. So for us to choose, he's not forcing us. But he's definitely encouraging us to choose well, choose wisely. That's why it's good to keep him in mind.